Good morning. Welcome to Yoga Galactica. It is Saturday. Yeah. I guess people, some people are going back out. Our roommate just got back from a hike. And he said that the trails are open. So it will be interesting to see what's going down. Hope you had a nice Friday night. We did a puzzle. It was very easy. Hello. <laughs> We're puzzle addicts. We are. And we have a system. And we methodically... We figured it out. Figure out those puzzles. Life is a puzzle. I had an analogy about life <clears throat> and puzzles last night. Maybe I'll share it real quick while Kamala is sharing. Well, puzzles are a really good metaphor for life. Because in the beginning, you have to try so many different things, and you're going to essentially fail, but you're not necessarily failing, you're just learning, and you're discovering. So failures aren't a bad thing, it's the process of learning. But as you go through those little mini failures or learning experiences, you start to hone in what you actually need and what works and you keep trying and then you start figuring things out and then you get on a roll but then once you're on a roll you think you're just invincible and you can just pick up any piece and put it in but then the puzzle or life is like no that's not exactly how it works because there's levels to this like plateaus you climb you plateau you climb you plateau and so you keep doing this cycle until eventually you get so good and so understanding of the shapes and the colors and where they go that all the pieces do literally start falling into place. And before you know it, you're done with the thousand piece puzzle. And that's what we did last night. So take from that what you will. <laughs> but it seemed really on point last night. I don't know if it kind of came through at all this morning. Maybe leave a message in the comments if you can relate or if you do puzzles at all puzzles are um, really great quality time social activity um, are you typing in? no I'm, I'm trying to write quick shift and it keeps writing whack shift so I promise you guys today is not going to be a whack shift it will be a quick shift <laughs> Uh, so nonetheless, we are avid puzzlers. If any of you out there have any puzzles that you want to swap, we are doing puzzle swapping. Um, ideally, the puzzle needs to be, of course, complete, meaning it can't have any missing pieces. Um, secondly, we need challenge. We need a challenging puzzle. So um, minimum of a thousand pieces, uh, 2,000 pieces is even better. We, last weekend we did a 2,000 piece puzzle and we, that was awesome. That was like our big masterpiece of quarantine so far, doing a 2,000 piece puzzle in about 36 hours. Of course, with the help of our roommate, Matt, who's also an avid puzzler, and uh, we just sit down, put the blinders on and go. You got stuff all over you, Bella. Good morning, Jenny, Maya, Amy, Eric. And many more. I can't see everyone popping up here, but thank you for joining us. Yeah, wow. So Siri and I are very happy because today, for the first time in months, there is a fight night. UFC is on. And for those of you who don't know us, Siri and I are very avid UFC fans. We love the skill that goes into mixed martial arts. So we're very excited to see this card today. It's in a place called Fight Island. We don't know where that is. Well, we have an idea. We think it's in Jacksonville, Florida. Um, and it is an incredible card. So we're very excited about that because it is just huh, one of our favorite things to do. So. Yeah, Maya, woo! Yeah. Maya's gonna be watching too, yeah! You know, if you've never seen UFC fights, yes, there is the brutal cage fighting aspect to it, and it is two men, or women. women, two humans, battling it out, essentially trying to put the other one's lights out. 
but there is such a, a level of mastery and technique and it's not just cage brawlers anymore. It is like the best martial artists in the world that move and interact and use their bodies in ways that blow your mind. Yeah. And it's something that Kamala and I have been into since um, the beginning of our relationship. I even earlier and she even earlier. So when we she met, so yeah. when we met and we both found out that we liked fights, it was a very big uh, bonding point for us. Yeah. And so um, not huge boxing fans because there's so much, I don't know, what is it? Well, bureaucracy and yeah. boxing and and it's not actually it how it, good. yeah it's not actually how a true fight would go because you, you there's no takedowns or kicks or and and even in MMA there's like rules no groin or eye gouging or hair pulling and so and no uh, punches to the throat so it's still not a hundred percent what a street fight would look like but it's as close to full on anything goes as possible and. Man, is it exciting. We've turned a lot of people from thinking they would not like watching fights to loving yeah. watching fights. So And yes, Maya, the girls are gnarly. Oh, man, Woo! they're so good. And uh, she, Maya called it a human puzzle. I love that. Yes, That's exactly. That's exactly what it is. Um, one of our favorite uh, podcasters, humans, uh, is Joe Rogan, and he is the announcer and was the announcer one of the voices of the octagon for as you know since pretty much since it was around way long ago and the way he describes it is a high stakes game of chess where the consequences are you know physical alteration altercations um, i butchered that a little bit <laughs> <laughs> but um, it, it is. It's like playing chess, but with your body, kind of like a puzzle. You're trying to figure the other person out, yourself out, because most of the battle happens within you before you even get into the cage. Yes. But then it happens, and then there's the lights, then there's the pay-per-views. Oh you know, God. it's amazing. So it's a pay-per-view, so you do have to buy it, or yeah. unless you know how to this illegally awesome. stream it. Um, we're going to be watching the fights tonight, so if you're watching them, think of us. We love you guys. Gretchen says, good morning. I love MMA, and so do the girls. I love you, ladies. Yeah. Woo! That is fantastic. Well, just to balance out all the wild fight energy, we're going to pull from the unicorn deck today and see what the unicorns have to say. Yeah, Maya, such a mental game. Like, you have to be just in a flow state and go. Yeah. I love this. Yogis who love <laughs> MMA. You guys just made my day. Some people left, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> that well, is People all leave right. the stream for a million number of reasons. <laughs> and I doubt it was because we were talking about fighting. I know, I know. They're just not ready to handle what Yoga Galactica has to offer. Yoga Galactica is like the mixed martial arts of yoga. Oh. Think about that. Wow. <laughs> Wow, Gretchen used to go to cage fights before there were many rules. That was not, I bet that was gnarly. Oof, yeah. Yeah, Eesh. whole different sport. All right, let's see if something jumps out of the deck. And on that note, don't get me wrong, I don't like seeing people get hurt. Like, no. that's not what I'm in for it for. I'm in to watch these master technicians, martial artists, be so skilled and so technical um, in trying to solve the puzzle. Let's just call it that. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, it, whoop, it's making my blood boil right now. Oh, here we go. All right. Trust has jumped out. Mm -hmm. Let's see what trust. Trust us, means. you will like MMA. <laughs> but don't, actually. Figure it out for yourself. Exactly. Okay, let's see what the unicorns have to say. Let's just go ahead and sit up nice and tall. Close your eyes. Take a deep inhale. And open the mouth. Sigh it out. Ah, ah. Let's shake our hands, head, shoulders. Ah. Good. And inhale. Reach to the sky. Spread. 
Exhale, palms touch slowly, bring them down to the center of the chest. And just breathing here. Taking every breath a little deeper into your body, feeling yourself connect down to the earth, your energy melting down to the earth. And just be grateful for your breath for yourself, for showing up to give back to you, <sighs> for this beautiful day. And as I read this card, you can keep your eyes closed, place your hands on your heart, keep them in prayer, or open wide on your knees. It's up to you. Trust. Leap into the unknown. Have faith and move forward. Believe you will fly. Your soul is calling on you to take a courageous leap of faith and launch into the unknown. You know deep down that you cannot stay where you are, doing the same things in the same way any longer. You know it's time for change. It is time to get out of your comfort zone, to expand and to explore. Yet a part of you is hesitating. You feel as if you are at the edge of a cliff, not fully believing that when you take the leap, your wings will appear and you will soar. You may be putting off what you know you need to do. You may be avoiding things that scare you and making excuses to stay in your comfort zone. This winged horse wants you to know she is here to support you and it is safe for you to make this change. She reminds you that you have free will and can make this choice. You can give in to fear, stay where you are, and never find out what else is out there for you, or you can have the courage and faith to take the risk. It is time to choose your dreams. Allow yourself to get excited about leaping into the unknown. Let go of control and choose a life of surprise. It is time to throw caution to the wind, be courageous, and trust. When you are brave and take a leap, your wings will appear and you will soar. Wow. I love that card. And uh, <laughs> I feel like it's a perfect day for trust to come out. As most of you know, in California and probably some other places, um, the quarantine has been slightly altered and lifted a bit. I'm not sure of all the ramifications, like everything that, that has gone into that, but you know, it might be time to just spread your wings and fly, go out, be safe, you know, but go out in nature, take a walk, the trails are back open, maybe go to the beach, put your feet into the sand, you know, and you can bring your mask and your hand sanitizer and all that, you can still socially distance but maybe it's time that we are courageous and follow what our heart wants to do. And again, I'm not saying to throw caution into the wind. I'm just saying get yourself into nature. Maybe, you know, go sit outside with a friend at a safe distance, something like that. We love you so much. I love this card. I will post it. Good morning, Shailene. It is beautiful, and uh, uh, that's, you should read this series exactly what I needed I to hear. I was listening. Good. So with that being said, let's trust our bodies. Let's do some yoga. Let's get shifted so we can go out and have a fantastic day. So hands at the chest. Let's rub the fingers, knuckles, create some friction and some heat. Take a deep inhale. Hold the breath at the top, squeeze it around, sip it a little more, and take a moment to think about your intention for today. And maybe it's trust. Whatever it is, it's perfect. Powerfully exhale it out into your room. And hold empty. And in this emptiness, think about some things that make you feel so grateful. And let that gratitude fill you. Breathe it in with a deep inhale. And open the mouth, sigh it out. Ah. Ah. Taking a moment here to breathe.
feeling the elements of air coursing through your body, this life force, always with you since the moment you arrive, will be the last thing you do before you go. So take a moment just to honor your breath, the spirit of air. Bow your chin to your chest. And let's take a moment to be grateful for ourselves, for showing up day after day, giving back to ourselves, doing this work even when it's challenging. Let's thank our bodies for being healthy, for their ability to heal. Taking a moment to reflect on your journey, your courage, your strength, your trust, your compassion. All of it makes you who you are, your darkness, your light, the ups, the downs, the highs, the lows. Bless everything for it made you who you are today. Take a moment to send yourself some love. Letting your hands just slide down, open wide on the earth, pressing down through the mat, through the floor, through the rocks, gravel, and dirt, down to the core of the earth. We bow our heads to you, Mama Gaia, Pachamama. We thank you, for without you, we would not be here. You support us every single day, not only with all of your abundance that you give so freely, but with all of your elements that support us every moment of the day and connect us in every moment and as we place our hands pressing down to the energy of the earth we feel each other and that connection and we thank you for all of your gifts we promise to be protectors of this planet mm -hmm. and to give back to you to be the example Pacha mama we thank you let's all take a moment to send her some love I'll roll the head up. And exhale, sigh it out. Ah. <coughs> Hands on your knees. Inhale, pull your shoulders to your ears. Squeeze. Exhale, roll the shoulders down the back.
back foot. And then slowly inhale up to warrior one. Press all four corners of both feet down. Heels are in one straight line as you press into your current edge. Slow the breath down. Focus at one spot. Deep inhale here. And as you 
Exhale, you're gonna rotate the torso, place the right elbow to the outside of that left knee, press the palm, and breathe, open. Focusing at one spot, if you really wanna play with your balance, close your eyes. going in both directions. Good. And pull your nose towards your knees. Wrap your arms tightly around the shins. Breath of fire. Go.
filling it into the earth. And then stretching your entire body out flat on the earth to be cradled <sighs> as we get ready for some Wim Hof breath. Yes, great warm up. Hopefully you're already feeling those shifts as I know you are. We are now transitioning into some powerful breath work. And what you need to do is come laying down on your back if you're not already there. And we are gonna be doing the Wim Hof breath, one of our favorite breathing exercises. Look up the man, Wim Hof, if you don't know him, W-I-M-H-O-F, not now, but do it after class. And uh, he will inspire you greatly. What we're gonna be doing is lying down on our back, taking 40 powerful breaths into the body, through the mouth, but really just get that breath in however you can. The exhale is a soft exhale. We do it together, we do it in unison, and it sounds like this. So go ahead and synchronize in right now. Good, we've already started. Four. Perception of what is. It can 
alter our reality and bring us into altered states of consciousness. And that's just one round of this breath. Imagine doing this for 20 or 30 minutes. Imagine how blissed out and high and great you'd feel. So we're just gonna do one more round to give you even a little deeper dive and taste. So again, Wim Hof breath, lying down on your back, 40 powerful breaths, round two, here we go. Beautiful, that's it. Big inhale, exhale. Big inhale, exhale. Pull it in, let it go. Pull it in, let it go. That's it. Keep it up. And of course, we cannot see you, but we will encourage you to breathe as deep as you can. Shallow breaths are still good, but they're not as good as big breaths. But do your best. Here we go. We got halfway there. That's it. Keep it up. Find your rhythm. Flow into it. Sink in. Okay, ten more. Can you go even deeper? Finding that still place, we take a nice big deep inhale together. 
Hold that breath in for five, four, three, two, one. Open the mouth, sigh it out, exhale. And relax. Beautiful job, Yogi.
we're gonna I'm gonna read a prayer for you but I want you to imagine that you are saying this out loud to yourself this will help with trust with courage with all of it it's written by Catherine Zenlina aka the manifestation babe <laughs> Dear universe, source, angels, ancient ancestors, God, and or spirit guides, whomever you choose, I now allow all that is not for my highest good to fall away and create new space on a physical, spiritual, mental, and emotional level across all timelines, parallel lives, future lives, past lives, dimensions, and planes. In replacement, I now call in all that is for my highest good to expand, accelerate, be known to me, and experienced in a way that is filled with love, ease, grace, joy, and for the highest good of all involved. Show me, show me, show me I am ready. And so it is. Taking a nice big inhale, drinking all of that into the body, the soul, your spirit. And just exhaling it out. Ah. Ah. And, and doing that again. Nice big inhale. Sighing it out. Let it go. Let the fingers and the toes begin to wiggle and move. The hands, the feet, the wrists, and the ankles. <clears throat> Stretch the arms up and over the head. Squeeze through the whole body. Squeeze. And as you exhale, relaxing, bring the knees up into the chest. Just let the legs move back and forth, left and right. Gently twisting and turning, shifting and moving. When you've had sufficient amount of rolls through the legs. Bring the knees into the chest. Wrap the arms around the legs. Give yourself a giant hug. Tell yourself, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you, I love you, I love you. And when you're ready, you're going to begin to rock yourself up and down, up and down, rocking all the way up, all the way down. One more, all the way up all the way down and then rocking up into a seated position here on your mat as we close out our practice. So sitting tall, eyes are closed. We bring the hands together and rub them briskly, create some friction, some heat, some warmth, and then touch the thumbs into the chest at the heart center. And as we breathe, we first and foremost take a moment to bless the space that held us for our practice. So we bless the space shift. You, please bless up your home, your room, your office, wherever you may be practicing today. And then extending some of this blessing and love out to a family member, a friend, an animal, something or somebody in your life that needs a little bit of a boost and really could use this love. Send it out to them right now. And then we take this love, this light, and spread it all across our beautiful planet, Mother Earth, Mama Gaia, thanking her for being our home, thanking everything on this planet for being divinely perfect, whether we see it or not, whether we know it or not, it really is. Let the chin fold into the chest, turn inward, and as you breathe in these final moments, let's first acknowledge ourselves. Acknowledge your mastery. Acknowledge your wisdom. Acknowledge your body for being a miracle of life. Every breath is a gift. And then we extend this to our teachers and mentors, the guides, our ancestors, and all of those that have carved the way, walked these paths, so we may be able to follow in their footsteps and create new paths and share with you here and now. What a blessing. 
Satnam. Satnam. Namaste. Namaste. Aho. Aho. Blessed be. Beautiful. What a nice shift today. And if you've stuck with it so far, we just cannot thank you enough. And even people that had to leave early, we thank them. And even the people that just tuned in for one minute, we thank you. All we want to do is share with you guys and bring some hope and light into your day. These shifts are equally as important for us. Even sometimes when we feel resistance to doing them, we always feel better coming through. And that is a beautiful lesson in and of itself. So hopefully you are feeling the shift. We definitely are. We couldn't be more blessed. Thank you so much, Kamala, for you. your guidance, your wisdom, your light just keeps shining brighter and brighter. You're very special. <laughs> and thank you, our dear tribe and community. I don't know. I'm feeling the itch to uh, put on the calendar when we'll start to get back here into Yoga Galactica. I'm not saying any dates. Oh. Uh, but I'm just saying it could happen within a month. Well, I'm just saying it could. We're excited to see everybody. We're excited to get back, but we do want to tread with caution because we can't just throw away all of this hard work of quarantining. Just exactly. throw it out the window. We we do need to be safe, you know. Especially in here with all of the I know, and exactly. everything. So nonetheless, stay tuned. And we are going to keep this commitment going of giving you these quick shifts six days a week plus our Thursday or Tuesday and Thursday classes and actually this coming week men there's a men's circle at 6 p.m. that I'm leading uh, women Kamala's leading her women's circle at 6 p.m. also on Thursday yeah. so these are great ways to tap into the community and meet people that you never thought you would meet and have actually really deep meaningful connections right through your device so yes. it's amazing Yes. Um, all of these experiences, shifts, are a gift from us to you. If you would like and feel called, you can kindly leave a donation. Yogagalactica at gmail.com is our PayPal. Our Venmo is at Yoga Galactica, all one word. We thank you so much for all the donations you've yes. been sending. It is so beautiful and heartwarming to see those come in. But remember, it is not an obligation in order to experience this. Nope. Only donate if you're feeling good, you're able to, and do it from a place of love and feeling full, and I promise it comes back tenfold. Money is currency. Currency is flow. It has to come in. It has to go out. The energy. And yes, and the more you let it flow in and out, the more it does, comes in and comes out. So yes. we love you. Have Thank an amazing you. day. Thank Call you, Gretchen. Thank you, shout Maya. Out. Amy, you were right. Miracles do happen. So grateful for you, Alexandra, Maya, Olgi, Jennifer Biondo. Ooh. I'm sure Eric is probably here. We love Mike, you. We thank you, Mike. Too. Also, I will post trust that card, but drop into your intuition. You know what makes you feel safe, what makes you feel good. Have the courage to spread your wings and do a little short sail. <laughs> and then I'm also going to post that beautiful prayer, that intention. I love that. I think I'm going to start saying that every day. It's so beautiful. Let's write it out and print it out and put it up. Yeah, that's a good idea. Enjoy today. Yes. We love you. And if you can, watch some fights. <laughs> love you guys. Phew!